we'll wait for the ignition of the S200 solid strap on booster. Minus one minutes, 26 seconds. Pressurization completed and H tank ready. We just heard the announcement of cryo, all cryo operations. The final phase of operations has been completed. And the cool air supply to the payload fairing has been uh, disconnected now, and there will be withdrawal of the cryo arm. All very stations shortly. stand by for the time mark. Mark minus one minute and counting. Minus one minute. Minus 55 seconds. All stops are up. Minus 50 seconds. Sequences are off. Minus 45 seconds. Minus 40 seconds. Minus 40 seconds. Minus 35 seconds. Minus 30 seconds. Real time programs activated. Minus 30 seconds. Roger. Minus 25 seconds. Alert and VSPP open. Minus 20 seconds. Minus 20. Ignition arm is armed. 15 seconds. Cryon fire you armed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, plus 1, plus 200 two, ignited, plus three, vehicle lift off. Plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus lift eight, off normal. Plus nine, plus 10 just heard the announcement, Peter lift Roger. off normal. Before driving, plus 2 seconds. 15 seconds into the flight. Plus 20 seconds. Yes, First stage performance, performance normal. Indicated as Plus normal. Plus 30 seconds. Plus 30 seconds. Moving Plus 35 seconds. Plus 35 seconds is a very critical place. Going atmospheric. Plus 40 seconds. 40 seconds into the flight. Plus like 45 this. seconds. Six, seven kilometers. Plus 50 seconds. 50 seconds. First stage performance normal. Plus 55 seconds. First stage performance is indicated normal. So we Plus have in the next 50 to 55 seconds the ignition of the L110 liquid engine. Seventy-five seconds. Vehicle at eighteen point seven kilometers. First stage performance normal. First stage performance normal, as indicated by the range operation director. Plus one minute thirty seconds. So ninety seconds into the flight, another twenty-two seconds will have the ignition of the L hundred and ten stage, which again is a very important activity. And if you look at the plots of the time versus altitude and velocity, we see a very clo ma close Never match with the pre-flight and the flight predictions. L110 ignited. Yes, L110 core booster minutes. has been ignited at exactly 114.9 seconds. The vehicle is at an altitude of around 51.5 kilometers. normal. And uh, L40 ignition and performance has been indicated no normal. हम इस वक्त रॉकेट के पहले चरण के फेस से गुजर रहे हैं, जैसे कि आपने सुना S200 रॉकेट जो जमीन पर इग्नाइट हो गया था. S200 separated. Uh, just now we heard the announcement. S200 solid strap has been successfully separated at 141.2 seconds, and vehicle has entered the closed loop guidance in the second phase of flight. So, up tak, uh, solid engine wale charno ka performance bilkul normal tha rocket ki uchai aur gati bilkul jaise vishleshan kiya gaya tha usi tarah se kaam karta hua dusra charan l and 10 stage abhi ignite ho chuka hai aur abhi humne range operation director se ghoshna suni ki yahan sahi salamat kaam kar raha hai right now Last we are at minutes. 180 seconds and the altitude is around 95 kilometers l110 performance normal and we again heard the announcement of uh, the normal performance of l110 stage as per the nominal sequence at 224 seconds we should have the separation of the heat shield so we are at 200 seconds 
all to do 105 kilometers and very shortly we'll hear the announcement of uh, separation of the payload fairing l110 performance normal l110 ton stage yeah, performance is normal as far as the range of the vehicle is concerned it's almost traveled 200 kilometers from the launch base it's an altitude around 117 kilometers and heat shield has been successfully separated, separated at 225.7 seconds As far as the velocity is concerned, we have almost a 2.5 km minutes. velocity has been imparted to the vehicle. The final uh, injection velocity is order of 9.8 km per second. The next important event will be the L110 separation of L110 ton separation, which should happen at 320 seconds. So roughly around 80 seconds to go. As I was mentioning earlier, L110 ton stage uses the the Vikas engine which is being used for L40 Plus stages of GSLV seconds. the liquid step on boosters the second state of GSLV and the second state of PSLV as well but the duration here is almost for uh, 200 seconds as against 145 to 150 seconds being used for the L110 for the PSLV normal. so L110 ton stage performance is indicated as normal 3.4, 3.5 km per second, range of around 410, and very close That's match of the altitude and the velocity as a function of time during the S200 and L110 phase of flight. So 320 seconds, we should hear the announcement of uh, the separation of the L110, after which, yes, L110 uh, has separated. been successfully separated. And 318.6 seconds. And C25 ignition has been confirmed at 325.4 seconds. So C25 ignition has been confirmed. Pre ignition confirmed, performance normal. And C25 ignition and performance of the C25 engine is confirmed as nominal. So we are at 350 kilometers. Velocity of 4 performance normal. and uh, range of almost 633. So this is a very important announcement of uh, successful minutes. ignition of uh, the cryogenic engine for the first time in the flight and the performance being indicated as absolutely nominal for this mission. As you are aware in the GSLV Mark III, the earlier flight which was done in December 2014, we had only the S200 and L110 stage and the passive C25 stage. So this is the first flight stage where the normal. active cryogenic stage is being flown for the first time. And uh, just now we heard the announcement, the C25 performance is normal. Seconds. So we'll have a burn time of almost uh, 600 plus seconds into this flight. As for the nominal sequence, we should have the C25 shutoff command being issued at 964 seconds. We are roughly around 400 seconds into the flight. 4.3 kilometers. In fact, if you look at the velocity that is being uh, delivered by the cryogenic stage during these 650 seconds of burning, almost 50% of the velocity required for the Plus seven minutes. for injecting the satellite GSAT-19 into a GPU orbit normal. being imparted by this very important uh, cryogenic stage. This is C25 is the heaviest cryogenic stage ever built by ISRO so far. If you may recall, for the GSLV, we have used a 12.5 ton of uh, cryogenic engine with a thrust of only around 7.5 ton. However, this particular engine, which uses almost 28 tons of propellant, generates a thrust of nearly 18 to 20 tons. So I look at the flight parameters. A very close match with the what you're seeing on the bottom of the screen is the altitude plot. The red one is the pre-flight prediction, and the one, the dot, Cryo dotted one is the one where normal. the vehicle is presently flying. So all time versus altitude, time versus velocity, a very close match. 4.6 kilometer per second is a view of the launch control center. Plus eight minutes. So another five kilometer per second velocity needs to be imparted. The actual uh, velocity at the time of uh, cryogenic shutoff should be 9.8 kilometer per second relative velocity. Yeah. 
There's a continuous increase in the velocity during the C25 stage. 510 seconds into the flight, velocity around 4.9, and the vehicle has a downrange of 1,330 kilometers, and it has reached an altitude around 233 kilometers now. Another 200 seconds to go nearly. I think if, as we go through the cryogenic stage of flight, I would just like to highlight the, the communication satellite, GSAT-19, which is being flown on this Plus mission now. Minutes. So GSAT-19 communication satellite is configured around uh, ISRO standard uh, I-3K bus. And as I mentioned, it has a liftoff mass of around uh, 3,136 kilograms. And uh, the main structure of the satellite is uh, cuboid in shape. It has uh, primarily two solar arrays, uh, which generate almost uh, 4.5 kilowatts of electrical power. And uh, most importantly, the satellite carries uh, K and KV band high throughput communication transponders, which will be used for all communication purposes. And uh, in addition to this uh, K and KV band high throughput communication transponder, it also carries uh, another important payload called as the geostationary radiation spectrometer payload, which will monitor and study the nature of charged particles and the influence of space radiation on satellites and their electronic components. So nearly 600 seconds into the flight now, 5.4 kilometer per second velocity. And uh, if you look at the altitude profile, the bottom Plus curve, there is, a, there is a dip, Sorry, which is uh, based on the trajectory design. There is a dip in the altitude, and this is the phase where the velocity will, will have a major increase as it, as it drops down to an altitude of nearly maybe 150 kilometers. And then there is a steep rise in the altitude profile, which basically provides for the increase in velocity from what it is now, 5.6 to 9.7 kilometers, which will be required for injecting the GSAT-19. So the performance uh, of C-25 has been absolutely normal. Cryo stage performance normal. Yes, now we heard the announcement from the range operation director. The performance is absolutely normal. जैसे कि आप देख रहे हैं इस वक्त क्रायोजेनिक इंजन जिसको 320 सेकंड में लगभग इग्नाइट हुआ था उसके बाद प्लस 11 मिनट्स ऑलमोस्ट 300 सेकंड्स का बन क्रायोजेनिक स्टेज का हुआ है और जहां तक रॉकेट की ऊंचाई का सवाल है लगभग 220 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर और जहां तक दूरी का सवाल है रॉकेट और अपर स्टेज और सैटेलाइट का Almost a shar range se 2,200 kilometer ki duri par. Aur is samay rocket ki gati almost 6.2 kilometer per second. Aur uski final velocity almost 9.6 kilometer per second is what will be required for injecting the satellite into the CTO orbit. So cryo stage performance is normal. We have another uh, 200 seconds, 200, 250 seconds of flight to go. So this is the, the down range, the ground trace from the Shars Sri Dikota range, 12 minutes. all the way up to the injection. As you may be aware, during the, the launch phase, right from liftoff up to injection of the satellite, we have uh, almost four to five ground stations which are put in the loop for uh, monitoring various uh, flight events. The stations are basically the one located at Sri Harikota, Shah Range. Then we have the ground station located at Bangalore, the station located at Port Blair, the station located at Brunei, and Bayak. As far as the visibility of the launcher is concerned, all the flight events, right from liftoff till injection, majority of the events which happen during up to the cryo stage ignition, which is around 300 plus seconds, are all monitored from the Shah Range. The Port Blair provides the visibility of the cryogenic stage during the entire phase, followed by the Brunei, which will cover the, the last the phase of the cryogenic the burn, minute. including the satellite separation event. So post-satellite separation event, we also have the, the backup BIAC station, which will continue to provide minutes. coverage for almost uh, 300 to 400 seconds post-injection. So 800 seconds into the flight. 7.3, another 2 kilometer velocity to be added. Altitude around uh, 187 kilometers. And velocity 
so altitude plot time versus altitude the bottom curve very close match with the pre flight predictions cryo stage performance normal cryogenic stage performance normal almost uh, it ignited at roughly around 325 seconds so almost 500 seconds of burn we are at 825 so 500 seconds of burn another maybe 150 seconds to go uh, where we will see another uh, 2 km per second velocity being imparted to the vehicle plus 14 minutes 14 minutes the total flight time is uh, 16 minutes uh, 20 seconds so 850 seconds velocity 8.2 so we are in the final phase of the cryogenic phase of operations Eight hundred and seventy seconds. Cryo stage performance normal. Cryo stage performance has been declared as normal. In the next uh, hundred less than hundred seconds, we should have the velocity of almost eight uh, hundred meter per second being imparted now. Plus 15 minutes. So vehicle has almost uh, already reached an orbit of uh, perigee of 170 by 12,000. From here on, we will have continuously the velocity being imparted uh, to increase the apogee of the rocket. So as you can see on your screen, the perigee is already reached 170. and inclination of 21.5 to just to inform the viewers this is the the planar trajectory without any dog leg or yaw maneuver cryo stage performance normal and uh, we are at an apogee of around uh, 24000 25000 km maybe another uh, 30 seconds to go 944 seconds Cryo engine shutoff. So, see, twenty-five engine shutoff command has been issued at nine forty-five. The vehicle is at an altitude of almost apogee of thirty-five uh, thousand by one seventy. And the GSAT nineteen has been uh, successfully separated. Just now we heard the announcement. GSAT nineteen communication satellite has been successfully separated. So, GSAT nineteen satellite has been successfully separated. at uh, 960.8 second so gsli marthi rocket ne apni pehli udan mein gsat 19 upagrah ko safalta purvak apne nirdharit parikrama mein inject kar diya hai aur mission control center mein idhar khushi ka mahol sabhi vaigyaniko beech aur aap jo aapke screen par dekh rahe hai wo one of the satellite separation events is sare prasaran tak hum aapke साथ बने रहे इसके लिए हम आपके आभारी और आए चले हम आपको सीधे मिशन कंट्रोल ले चलते हैं जहां पर इसरो के चेयरमैन श्री किरण कुमार जी 